folks. Welcome back to our Ottomans campaign here in EU4. We're getting, uh, okay, there it is. <laughs> well, we have taken over Serbia, so uh, that's nice. Let's see, we're going to have some revolt here. We'll go ahead and hang out there. In fact, we'll probably send these seven to Zeta. We may need to station some troops in Kosovo. We'll go ahead and, uh, let's see, we have claim. Talk about diplomatic power. See where all we have claims: Kosovo, Serbia, Zeta. Mm. Yet nothing is actually broken up. We could go ahead and take these two. That would cost us 32 diplomatic points. A little bit of aggressive expansion, but uh, again, this is mostly over here. We've been getting mostly aggressive expansion over here. It's probably okay. It's not much more overextension. Eh. We grow big, we grow fast. Uh, sure. Well, I mean, I don't even need the prestige, but uh, it's fine. It will be okay. Yeah, yeah. Won't put anybody else in a coalition against us. It's fine. And we grow even larger. Alright, so claims. Our cores, rather. Serbia, Oscar, Kosovo, Zeta. We threw a good portion of our points there. But, uh, yeah, again, this is pretty nice land. Of course, it's currently not accepted culture and not accepted religion, but, uh, but still. We'll get there. It'll be fine. And we've got a gold mine, so we've got that going for us. We will probably, yeah, we're going to start uh, gaining inflation now. Not by a lot, because we make a lot of money in other ways. But, uh, yeah, we're going to need to sort of baby this a little bit. But another thing I want to do right now is I want to see how do the Mamluks feel about their war. Pretty good. Okay, well, I'm going to grab a claim on Malachi here. Anyway... Just, just in case. And I'm also going to grab a claim on Crete. Currently, the Mamluks in Venice are sort of uh, trading off. The Mamluks are ceding down Rhodes, and Venice is ceding down Cyprus. Unfortunately for the Mamluks, I believe this war is for Cyprus. So, uh, yeah, looks like the Mamluks may end up losing that war. I would actually rather than fight out more, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I can get to, uh, Yeboa. Yeah, for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and fabricate on Crete. I would like to grab as many of these islands and sort of smaller areas as I can in our first war against Venice and sort of push them back and make them a little bit easier to deal with. So all of our diplomats are busy now, but, uh, that's fine. Macedonia, Zeta, Zeta. Interesting. Uh, our claim on Naxos is done. Alright, so Crimea is trying to call us to war against Theodoro, Trebizond, and Circassia. Well, I mean, sure, you're losing to Theodoro, Trebizond, and Circassia. You were not. Okay, well, we don't want to lose 25 prestige. We like to stay allied to Crimea? Sure. It probably won't help much, but eh, maybe that's a lie. I'll send these guys down. At some point we'll meet up in uh, Mechanic. We'll siege down Trebizond. Yeah, we'll see what happens. It'll be a rich, full day. Hang out in Kosovo. Let's see. Zeta is mountains. We'd like to stand there. All this is kind of bad terrain. Ugh. All right, let's see. Can we get... Would you become our vassal? You would. Well, then let's have an alliance. Unfortunately, we got a good bit of aggressive expansion with Ragusa because I didn't ally them first, which was a pretty big blunder, but uh, it's fine. We can get there anyway. We need 50 more points. We can't get a marriage. We'll have to give them a gift. 25, 35... 
45. We'll have to wait for some aggressive expansion to burn off, but it's okay. Let's see. And this other diplomat we have. We could just kind of uh, earmark him to get Ragusa up, which sounds fine to me. We've arrived in Kosovo. That's good. Ragusa. Ah. Let the game run. You can transfer your trade power to us. It doesn't really accomplish anything at this point. So you'll give us 64% of your trade power? Sure. Go right ahead. Let's say 12. Uh, boost up 12 in our uh, words. Words are good. I can't use them, but words are good in our, uh, in our relations. There we go. There we go. I learned how to word. Are you proud of me, Mommy? Alright, uh, let's see. What else can we do here? We can offer military access. Unfortunately, we can't marry because they're Catholic and we're Muslim. So, we're going to be at 163. We're going to have a wild wait while, uh, while some of this negative stuff burns off. And by this negative stuff, what it really means is aggressive expansion. But uh, if we can get them up to 190, which we can, over the, t uh, over the course of years, we'll, uh, we'll be able to vassalize them and integrate them that way. I'm not going to just declare war on them, but uh, they're guaranteed by us. If we revoke the guarantee, we would have a truce. And I don't want Venice taking them over while we have a truce. That's all that's really going on there. Merge these guys together, put the siege leader in charge, and march on Trebizond. So Georgia is not part of this war? Okay. Matter of fact, how are the relative... <laughs> so the relative strength of alliances is that there is no strength on their side of the alliance. Gotcha. Alright, we have arrived in Trebizond. Akko and Lewis declared war on Georgia. Deer have Accepted. Surprise there. Seven. Okay. Ten guys here. And the general. Yep. I didn't hurt or dirt that time. I'm proud of myself. Alright, yeah, there's nothing else we can do here, right? Uh, you? Not really. I mean, we can send a gift, but that's only uh, it's only a maximum of 25. Yeah, and we won't have to send much. How long does that last? Five years? Eh. Well, if I go ahead and do it, we'll have that plus 25, and if I can remember to improve relations over the end of the year tick, we'll be set up next year to have ourselves a nice little vassal. Crimea. We'll go back to improving relations with Bohemia for now. Let's keep our diplomat busy. Sakwanlu. France declared war on Foix, so they lost that land to, uh, to Aragon, and now they're taking it back. Actually, Brazilian starts off as part of Aragon, Right? Yes. So, uh, in fact, France is going to be even larger than they were before. Big surprise. Piety. Three. All right. Uh, Atam didim kananu? Kan kanunu? Ka codified. Mehmet II codified the tribal laws of Kai Turks. The Atam didim kanunu. Laws of the Forefathers, thus giving them official recognition along with Islamic and Roman laws which were already in use. Together they were known they are known as the kan Kanuname i Ali Osman in the Ottoman Turkish language. Mehmet II thus became the first lawgiver. So we can codify the laws of the forefathers, or Islamic and Roman laws are enough. Well, we'd like to gain piety, because again we're still uh we are still converting. Religious, uh, 
to, to promote a religious unity. Okay, our victory over the Byzantine Empire is over. Well, we don't get that extra re uh, legitimacy per year anymore, but that's fine. Bavaria will cede land to Austria. Good, I'm glad to see Austria getting stronger. Nimingen will pay war reparations to Austria. Well, okay, that's not nearly as bad. We're still building up. We're building up a lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. I have a little bit of manpower. I'll go ahead and... Can I build boats? I can build boats. Let's build boats. Boats. That gets us up to the force limit. That's probably fine. Alright. Dudes, I'll get uh, two more cav and five more infantry. Getting claims on Dulcadir and Crete. And it must be said that uh, it's likely some of our claims are actually going to expire on us, but I, I want to be set up for whatever comes up. In truth, we're probably going to most likely end up uh, taking the Take the Levant, Conquer the Levant mission if that comes up next time. And I did forget to improve relations with Ragusa, which is unfortunate. All right, we lose other things as well on the yearly tick. Good to know. Maybe actually more difficult than I was expecting it to be. All right, everybody pile in down here. Ragusa declared war on Bosnia. Conquest, Ragusa. Ragusa, calm yourself. Calm yourself, Ragusa. Call me in, Ragusa. <laughs> We can't. We have a truce, but still, it would be very helpful if they could. Don't lose, Ragusa. Don't lose. Seriously, seriously. Don't, don't get full annexed. I will be mad. Or oh, they want my provinces. Seriously. Seriously, Ragusa, stop. Stop, Ragusa. Stop. Stop. Just, just stop. You don't want my provinces, you want to join my provinces. Come on now. Be realistic. Cyprus took over Rhodes. Interesting. Something happened there I was not expecting. Alright. Mamluks would still defend at Koyanlu, right? They would, but they're starting to fall into debt. How about Venice? You know, that's not the way to do it, that. Let's take a look at Naxos. We declared war on Naxos. Right, 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 right. Look, I'm still derping. I still know how! Hooray! Yes, Venice is doing just fine monetarily. Who'd have thunk? Who would have thunk? Uh, yeah, we're gonna get a claim on Urzakan. Ur 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 Zinkin. Yay, go, go Ragusa. I really would kind of, I, I hope that's all you take. And I'm not even sure I want you to take that, if I'm honest. I'll be upset if, uh, if I've flubbed up this uh, vassalization attempt by not allying them sooner. But uh, hey, it happens. Alright, we have converted Buzal. We get plus one missionary strength for ten years. Very, very helpful. Rival of a rival. Burgundy. Interesting. Or well, we could take Conquer the Levant. Alright, let us size up the Mamluks in terms of... Well, we can look at their navy as well. Looks like it's pretty small. Probably got crushed by Venice. Not terribly surprising. Armies. Let's see. The Mamluks. The Mamluks have... Yeah, they have a pretty large... Uh, we have 32,000 troops, 32 regiments. Of course, we have 47. And of course, we also have to figure that uh, Akkoyanlu will join that war. So they have 10, so 
basically we're very even in terms of troops. The Memlets are a little spread around. Unfortunately, we can't just declare war on Cyprus and uh, get into war that way because uh, Venice is sieging it down, which is unfortunate, although we can attack Venice later. I would like to start uh, start fighting some wars here, though. Akoinlu is allied with just the Mamluks. So if we attack the Mamluks, we could uh, co-belligerent Akoinlu and take our claims. Tell you what, we're going to take uh, rival over rival. Well, let's be smart and make sure that we can actually make Burgundy like us first. Wow. I have some aggressive expansion with us even over here. But uh, yeah, we're going to make Burgundy like us. Let's do that. Rival over rival. That was pretty dumb on me. I could have waited a day and got, uh, got a little more relation with Bohemia. But hey. Well, we're going to start working on Burgundy. As soon as that's done, we'll uh, try to take the Conquer the Levant mission and fight the Mamluks. That'll give us time to get out of this war, give Crimea time to uh, build back up. Maybe they'd want to join in. I don't know. Give us a little bit of time to see how this war is going to fight out. You know, let the Mamluks and the Venetians uh, throw themselves at each other a little more. All right, we can, uh, we can send a missionary to Akia. It's fine. Serbian separatist in Roskin, Nis, Kosovo, Serbia. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of... Uh, there's not really a way, even with uh, putting down autonomy, we could have stopped this from happening. So we're just going to have to fight. Just going to have to fight the rebels over here. In fact, I'm going to send this army over because uh, there's no real concern from our war here with Trebizond and Co. See, Trebizond is over. All right, I uh, I I helped. I attended your war, Crimea. You're welcome. I'm not going to try to worry about getting through. You probably have access through Georgia. I don't even care. Great. I'm happy to hear about all that. Rebel Uprising. Sure, sure. This will probably happen in 0.6 years. Great. Poland has moved their capital to Warsaw. Yep. Hey, yeah, it's, it's a good land in Poland. Yeah, it's a strong country. And they do they still have their personal union? They they do. Uh, still has Moldavia as a mark as a vassal actually. Conquer Western Prussia. Huh? How's that working for you, Pomerania and Brandenburg? All right, arrived in Adana there. Get our boats in the water. Merchants worried about lack of protection. With our focus on free trade, our merchants are concerned that they are not getting the support that they would get under a more mercantilist policy. We can say that is what is that's why it's called free trade. Minus ten percent trade efficiency and trade range for a few months. Okay. Or we could lose 25 diplomatic power and gain one mercantilism by saying, well, maybe there's something we can do. Mercantilism is a pretty powerful effect. Let's see, where's the trade screen? Mercantilism gives you provincial trade power modifiers. So, for instance, in Constantinople here, we have a base amount, and mercantilism is currently boosting it by 20%. The higher you get your, your mercantilism, uh, the more trade power you get, the more it propagates upstream, and basically the more money you can earn. So mercantilism is good, and we're going to take it pretty much any time we get the option. All right, I don't know where her whole navy is. There it is. That's fine. We'll join up in the future. Uh, manpower is low enough. I really don't want to make 
any more ships. So I'm not going to. Alright, go back to patrolling Constantinople. Foie, we'll see. Really? I mean, I understand that you just needed Bam, but you could take in Resilient as well. Right? Uh, so Foie will see just Bam to, uh, to France. Interesting. Oh, really? Ahun Ahunyadi is in charge of Hungary, and not of von Habsburg. Hooray! <laughs> very, very good. All right. I like the sound of that a lot more. I don't like that he's a 455. That, uh, that makes me a little unhappy. But, hey. Hey, we're the monkeys. People say we monkey around, etc., etc. All right, we have a free diplomat. What can I do with that? I can get another... No, I can't get another claim on Akoyan Muth. Unfortunate. Uh, get a claim on Trebizond. Just to have in my back pocket. Let's go. Alright, and with that, folks, I'm going to take a break here. We're still waiting for these Serbian separatists to fire, which 0.3 years. That should happen any day now. While I'm thinking about it, I'll go ahead and put... Yeah, there we go. That will work. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.